What up, y'all? This is your boy DMV Ken the Neo Simmer. We are back with another episode of Game Therapy. We are playing The Last of Us 2. This is part 10. Right now, we are in the origins of Abigail Anderson. We are learning all about Abby. We are going through Abby's life, history, past, future, everything that uh, we can do to learn about Abby. We're starting to learn that Abby and Ellie are pretty much the same person, man. <laughs> is crazy they're pretty much the same person got the same goal i mean just really they're a mirror of each other um these two characters are really standing out in this series man i, I think that uh this really uh shows a, a huge empower empowerment uh for our, our our women man and um this is just really highlighting their strength um they are both solid in this game man i actually like both of them man um i, I didn't know I, I before i knew abby's story i was really kind of upset that she took out joel but now that i'm uh learning abby's story i mean she's gained true em empathy from me and uh and i like her man I, i'm sorry i mean she's just tough she's a bad you know what <laughs> so uh all right so let's get into it this is the last of us 2 part 10 let's get it Hey. Hey. Is everything all right? Yeah. Is this a bad time? No. No. So, what's up? We got orders? Sort of. Sort of. You know what? Just, how about we... Hold off on the Isaac talk for just a minute. Oh, and when's the last time you were here? Look around, take it all in. What did you do? Uh, you know, just rip out some vines, paint some walls. Well, this looks complicated. Don't touch that. Abigail. Are you doing a science experiment? Kind of. Making some prime hooch here. If you're nice, I'll give you some. <laughs> Lucky me. Did you take up archery or something? <laughs> or something. This is tropical. Where did you find it? <laughs> you remember that party store by the highway? Pretty big pain in the ass to get it all the way up here. Ah, that explains the target. Oh yeah, Mel and I have this competition thing going. Oh, I, I don't think you would enjoy it. It's pretty complicated. I see what you're doing and it's working. What do I do? Okay. See those targets? Yeah. Just hit as many as you can before the time's up. <laughs> I win? You better write my name up there. You got it. That's one. Yeah, proud of you. Just take it off. Ah, bam. Two down. And more to go. Wow, good one. Holy shit. Five. Halfway there, Abs. Two to beat me, no pressure. Like, actually very proud right now. You only need one more. Don't miss. Ow. 
Isaac would be a shell. Just 10 seconds left. Holy shit, you did it, you got the high score. I've still got time left, right? Five, four, three, two, one. I did it. <laughs> First try. How do you like me now? Yeah, it's great. You're good at everything. Shut up and put me up on the wall. I will. Later. Um, are you scared of Mel finding out I was here? No. <laughs> she doesn't care. So put me up on the board, Owen. All right. Calm down. Okay, there's one last thing I want you to see. Come upstairs. Is it that boat captain's body? Cause I saw it last time. You didn't put a Santa hat on it, did you? What? No. After you. What is all this? Festive. You gotta get the full effect. Have a seat. Take in that view. Now, try that. Well? The view is nice. Oh, whatever. Philistine. You want me to lie? Yes, obviously. <laughs> uh, she's into this Christmas thing, and uh, it's our one year. So. I think it's adorable. I think you can go fuck yourself. No, I wish someone loved me enough to make me a stocking. You don't deserve one. What, a stocking? Or someone who loves me? Why are you in such a good mood? Am I? You should blow off training tonight. Abby, when the moon comes I out. found Joel's brother. He's at a settlement out in Wyoming. How do you know that? It's the fireflies who served with him got picked up at the wall. I thought he quit like a decade ago. Yeah. So, have these guys heard from him since? It's a lead. I gotta see it through. Okay, but you know that even if he is there, and you do find him, he might not know where Joel is, right? Did you tell the others? Everyone's on board. Mel included. We can leave next week. Isaac's never gonna let that many people go off base. He already did. Bullshit. Who's more about justice than Isaac? He knows what Joel's done. Hey. We're doing this together, right?
the other apostate. Clip her wings. She's one of them. <sighs> Left. your backs. Coast 
Watch it this way. Okay? Yeah. We have to keep moving before more come. Every direction looks the same. You sure you know where you're going? It has to be this way. What the hell am I doing? It's just up here! Those are fresh. Is there another way around? If there were, would we be going this way? Come on, Lev. Get it open. Move. It's all right. Yes. Go on. the arm. I have it under control. Okay. Grab any supplies you find. We can't touch this stuff. It's old world. Are you... Oh. You need supplies. We're not out of the woods yet. Pun fucking intended. What's the pun? Never seen scars going after scars before. Sorry. What the hell did you do? I shaved my head. Fine, don't tell me. I really don't care.
a little farther. Twins. Go behind me. Now what? How confident it's this way. Quite confident. I get you through, you open that gate, right? We'll open it. Come on. Your turn. Watch that arm. Ricky! Doc! Fuck! Hurry up! I trusted scars. Fucking scars. Ha! 
work done. Just... Just give me a minute. You're gonna hold on tight. Okay. <clears throat> My arm. I know. Focus on your breathing. In and out. Nice and steady. In and out. Try the doors. Make sure there are no infected. One would open. Try the other ones. Any luck? No! Whoa. In here. Let's get inside before someone sees. Lock it. What's your name? Abby. Thanks for cutting me down. Sarah gets a lot of traffic. Whatever shape she's in, we need to get out of here by tomorrow. We'll be fine. Yeah.
Come on.
again.
Hmm. Maybe. I gotta give me shit about this glass. Okay. Okay, your pack's here. Is that blood? Hey, Owen? Owen? That's fucking cruel. <laughs> Isaac sends you after me. He didn't. What is all this? Take her apart if I'm gonna fix her back up. I see. Want some? Pass. Suit yourself. Danny's dead. You figured. You wanna tell me what happened? We were cleaning out a small camp. It's just a couple scars and uh, hit this one on the head hard. And he goes down and his weapon's right there. And he doesn't go for it. Instead, he turns to me. And he's old and tired. He was just ready.
kill a lot of scars. And, uh... Fucking guy. <sighs> I couldn't do it. Of course, Danny gets in my fucking face about it. I told him I'm done. He can do it himself if he wants. And he points his fucking gun at me. So I grab it, and then... First, I didn't even know which one of us was shot. You defended yourself. Stop. I can fix this. I'll talk to Isaac. I am tired, Abby. I don't want to fight over land that I don't give a fuck about anymore. I'm going to Santa Barbara. To chase a rumor? For it more than once. The fireflies aren't regrouping. They're gone. It's a lead. I gotta see it through. What about Mel? She'll be safe here. Okay. We'll talk in the morning when you're sober. Don't do that. Do what? Treat me like I'm fucking insane. You feel the same way. If the fireflies are in Santa Barbara, I go the opposite fucking direction. What? Nothing. Sorry I grew up. <sighs> you should try it. Oh yeah, how do I do that? Should I go find the people that killed my family? Cut into them? Torture them until they're crying now. <laughs> Abby. So we will stop there for part 10. Let's get into therapy. So uh, we end the episode with uh, Abby and Owen getting getting to it, right? <laughs> um, Man, Owen, Owen is, uh, man, that dude is in a bad place, man. Um, he, I mean, he, 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 he obviously doesn't want to be a part of the organization that they're a part of. He's he's ready to move on with his life. I believe that he just wants to go and live a peaceful life, man. He looks like a kid that just wants to go and live a peaceful life, um, in a beautiful area, um, with the with the woman of his dreams, which in actuality is Abby. He uh he's and this is why I'm saying he's not in a good place, man, because uh he has a baby on the way by Mel, and he's ready to leave Mel and every like I believe that he 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 will risk his life. For Abby, and he's he's pressuring Abby to come with him, but he will leave Mel behind, and he's he's preparing to have a baby by Mel. This is this is what I'm trying to get at. That, bro, you love one woman. One woman has your heart. One woman can have you anytime she wants to, and Abby. Yet you have created something that lasts a lifetime with Mel. 
you you settled for male, but you always want Abby. You always wanted Abby, but you settled for male. This is why that's probably not going to work long term because your heart will always be with Abby. Your mind will always be with Abby. Your desires will always be with Abby. But you're stuck with Mel because now y'all have a baby on the way. Well, we know that they did have a baby on the way. But, I mean, that that that's a, that's a, a, a terrible situation to live in. And it lets you know that um, that's probably not going to work long term, bro. So he has to, I mean, I mean, as, as men, we got to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Like you either got to be patient and deal with the psychological trauma that the woman that of your dreams has and wait that out and stick with her. Because, again, she she has a passion. She has a desire to do stuff. Her goals are different from your goals. And Abby is a is a alpha alpha female. You know what I'm saying? Like like she 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 ain't, she ain't beta. She ain't she ain't nothing secondary. She is an alpha in that group. In fact, if you want to just clump them everybody everybody together she's an alpha so she has desires and plans and things that she wants to do you oh and you did follow her and you and you uh you stood by her side in the hunt down for uh joel but now you felt that once joel was taken care of now y'all can move on and uh and she still has that desire to be a warrior I mean that she's trained, she's locked in. That's who Abby is, and and and, and Owen doesn't want to do that anymore. He wants to move on, and so he's willing to leave Mel behind. But he, I believe, he would take Abby, and that's and that's sad, man, because you got a baby on the way by Mel. Or you did, so it's crazy, man. Um, that's a weird situation. Y'all, let me know in the comments, man. Is 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 Owen? Is Owen in the in the right for doing what he's doing, leaving Mel behind, saying that she'll be safer there and leaving her? Because I know in deep down inside he wants Abby. He wants Abby by his side. And I believe that if Abby would give him everything he wants and Abby would choose to leave with him, he would leave with Abby and go off and leave Mel behind and the baby that they have on the way because she was just the secondary option he was just stuck with her a rebound or something like that. that's crazy man all right this is your boy dmv ken i am the neo simmer thank you for uh watching and we'll be back with part 11 uh go ahead subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when i drop new content like comment share do all that wonderful stuff because when you do good for others karma comes right back around and do good for you this is your boy the simmer i'm out